Hello, I, Dr. Vijay Chandra Jadala, welcomes you to today's session that is an operating system. Today, I am going to discuss related to introductory topics of operating system. What is an operating system? Operating system is a bridge between the hardware as well as the software. Whatever we are using, whatever we are using is the application software. The hard hardware will be activated with the help of the operating system. Operating system will be in bridge between the hardware as well as the software. The application, the user will use the application software whereas the hardware will be activated with the help of an operating system. So, what is an operating system? A program that is an intermediary between the user as well as between the hardware is an operating system. What are the operating system goals? The major operating system goals is where an execute, where a programmer or the user will execute the programs. The hardware will be activated with the help of the operating system. So, execute programs and make to solve the problems with an easier way. When a user will execute the programs, it will take the application program will take the help of the operating system. Then make an operating system to convenient to use. That is the major goal of an operating system is it makes the user to conveniently use his application program. Next comes to the use the hardware more efficient manner. These three are the major goals of the operating system that is to execute the programs, to make a system a convenient process for the user and to use the hardware in a an efficient manner. These three are the major goals of an operating system. So the operating system will work as a bridge between the user as well as the application and then comes to the hardware. It will be in between application software and the hardware that is the system software which is known as the operating system. The general operating systems are Unix, DOS and Ubuntu, Windows, all these comes under the operating systems. So here, what an operating system will do and how a user will be accommodated to the hardware. So hardware, then operating system, then comes to the, an application and then comes to the user. A user will use the system where he will use an application software, he will use an operating system, he will use the hardware. Hardware activates itself by the help of the operating system and on the operating system there will be an application software. Actual the user uses the application software but the system programming will run background process and makes an hardware activate. So here the major operations which are done by the, an operating systems or it uses to create the files, it uses to create the directories or the folders and it used to save the folders and the operating systems are majorly DOS, disk operating system which is comes under the command line interfaces that is the based on the commands whereas graphical user interface related or the Windows, Ubuntu and Linux. Ubuntu and Linux comes under the family of the Unix. These are the different flavors of the Unix. So the operating systems are broadly two types. One is the DOS based and another is the Unix based. Whereas DOS based comes under the Windows comes under the DOS based. Whereas uh, Linux and Ubuntu comes under the Unix based operating systems. So what an operating system actually does? It manages directories, it manages the folders and files. Next comes to it even manages the memory, it manages the hardware as well as the software, it provides computer networking function so that a computer will be accommodated with the other computer through the networking. So all these will be done with the help of operating system. Not only this, if you want to print, if you want to scan with the help of the operating system only, other devices can be attached to the computer. So these are the major concepts or major importance of the operating system. Let's discuss the next topic 
of operating system computer system structure related to the operating system that is a CPU memory input output devices when you say about what is the architecture of a computer generally we will say arithmetic logic unit control unit and memory unit which comes under the CPU where the memory unit plays a major role in operating system in a system uh, using the memory control unit will control the total functionality of the system where it will be connected to the input unit and output unit so these all will be functioned these all will be functioned based on some system programming where the system programming will activate the input devices and output devices these operating system will use the uh, use the application system uh, programming software to activate the application programs the application programs uh, will run on the windows or will run on the ubuntu or linux operating systems so the a user needs the application programs according to his requirement he will execute the application programs but these application programs will stay based on the operating system on the operating system on top of the operating system the application program will work so here the application program generally or the word processor windows uh, windows related web uh, web browsers compilers databases and video games all these comes under the application programs then comes to who will use this particular systems particular systems will be used by the people or the users even the machines will be use the machines that is the embedding system technology that means a machine will control the machine there also we are going to use the operating systems so this is all about the basic structure of the system program system uh, computer system which supports the operating system next comes to the four components of the operating system that are users where the users will be connected with the system and application uh, programs and this system and application programs are compilers, assemblers, text editors and others and these users will be connected with the system and application programs whereas uh, it even connects with the databases and then this system and application program will be connected with the operating system and operating system will be connected with the hardware so the hard to activate the application program with the hardware this operating system will work as a bridge in between and this comes under the major four components of a system then comes to what an operating system actually will do the first step itself i said that the operating system will work will coordinate between the hardware and the applications of a it will make the data can be stored in the computer system where it will activate the database management system with the uh, activate the memory where the database management system can be stored in the hard disk or the memory related components so next comes to the, the operating system which provides the uh, facility to operate the different commands and uh, other uh, it able to execute the other system programs so that it will be conveniently under uh, conveniently done the hardware will be convenient to the particular user so let's take an example if you purchase a mobile there will be a device software so that is the operating system if you uh, if you if your mobile is stopped if it is not working generally the mechanic will say the operating system gone we have to reinstall it so in the same way without operating system any application cannot be done so every computer or every device every machine will have an operating system on operating system only you will have the application program a user can use the application program and operating system is used to manage the application programs that is files directories and other things next comes to the functions of functions of the operating system the major functions of the operating system which we are going to discuss here that is memory management memory management is the best or the most important functionality of an operating system without memory we can't save the data in the system so an operating system uh, makes the data to be stored in the memory every hardware device is connected with the memory related components such as ram or the even the hard disk can be used for the sake of the 
memory that technique or that methodology can be adopted in the operating system which is called as virtualization so for the first component here is the uh, memory management next component is the device management since a uh, system hardware is connected with the different input output devices we will use the keyboard we will use the mouse we will use the printer we will use the scanner like that so many devices we are going to connect to the system these devices to activate we need some program system program files in the operating system when the system program files in an operating system activates these devices will activate itself so these comes under the